Hi, welcome to Simply Country Cuisine. So today I'm gonna to make two quick Thanksgiving desserts. Let's say you were invited over to some friend's house and you worked all week, you worked right up through Wednesday and you said, oh man, I gotta take something for my part of the Thanksgiving. Well, I saw these, they're not my originals, and uh, but I thought it would be fun to do. The first one we're gonna do, and let me tell you right now, nut or butter cookies are hard to get. When you see them, you better buy them and hoard them up. I don't know what the deal is. I asked the grocer and he said it's actually, they're actually um, from the vendors. So I don't know, but if you find them, grab them. So the first one, what we're gonna do is right now, I'm melting some uh, uh, Nestle Toll House uh, semi-sweet chocolates in the bowl. And remember, we've done this before. If you're doing your own double boiler, put the water in the pan, don't let it touch the bowl and put your glass bowl on it and let your chocolate melt. So that's what we're doing now. It's just getting our chocolate melted. And um, we're just gonna make a few. And it's a cute, 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 cute craft cookie. I'm actually gonna make these for, uh, for Wednesday's snack at church. We take, well, I haven't tried this yet, but you take a nut or butter cookie and we're going to hope it doesn't shatter. And I'm going to just Cut it in half, just like that. Melt our chocolate. We're going to take pretzel sticks, but I don't want, I'm going to fourth them. And let's continue melting our chocolate. So while we're doing this, um, I had this really neat idea for Thanksgiving. You know how you go around the table usually and you say, I'm thankful for this or something that, you know, things that have happened over the, the past year, what you were thankful for? Well, this year I'm creating little three by five cards and everybody's gonna get one. You'll have your name, your birthday, your address, your cell phone number on it. And if you wanna participate and put it in a basket. And so if you choose to participate, what you're going to do is you're going to choose a card and that person is your responsibility for the year to pray for them, to um, just think about them. Uh, if they have a special prayer need or something, then they can contact you and you can, it would be a very personal thing. So I think that's gonna be kind of fun. All right, so our water's boiling underneath our bowl now. All right, now this has come to a full boil and our chocolate is melted. Okay, we're going to take our half of our nut or butter cookie, dip it in our chocolate, kind of rim it a little bit. I'm sprinkling some, I call them jimmies. Um, the, yeah, they're called jimmies, chocolate jimmies. So I guess I call them right. I'll put a little bit on my cutting board here. So sprinkle some chocolate jimmies on your little cookie. And I'm suggesting that you stick your pretzel in there. And you have a little acorn. Is that the cutest little cookie you've ever seen? I, my suggestion is to lay them on a um, parchment lined baking sheet so they're kind of cool off and then they'll be done. So we'll do, we'll do one more. Dip our little cookie inside the chocolate. Sprinkle some jimmies on top. And this would be a fun little craft uh, while, the while you're trying to cook your Thanksgiving meal and the children are under feet. Say, here, why don't you make the dessert? and give them these items and let them make the dessert. And there we go, another little acorn. Cute, 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 cute. The other quick dessert we're gonna have put out here and we're not even baking it. We're going to just, hopefully it comes out. And I've seen this several times. I thought this was real fun and real cute. Just go to HEB or your local grocer and get you a, as my son-in-law Justin says, a seasonal pie a biscuit cutter, we're using the pumpkin pie. We're going to cut out a, hopefully cut it out, a pumpkin round. Now let's see if we can get them out. Take our little pumpkin round, lay it on our platter. I don't normally use canned whipped cream, I make my own. And you just give your little pie a little swish. 
And you could probably take some more of these little chocolate jimmies, sprinkle it on top. Lay it on your platter with your gorgeous little acorn cookies. Oh, voila! What easy, easy, fun desserts. And the kids can make these. The kids can do this because there's really no cooking if you get the chocolate hot. Now, you're going to say, hmm, there's going to be a little bit of waste of pumpkin pie here. Not in this family. I love but doesn't that look lovely? Isn't that pretty? So let's say the whole platter was full and you had to go to, uh, you're going to your friends for Thanksgiving. You could walk in with this gorgeous platter of your artwork and say, here's my contribution to the Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing these videos to be alerted for your next video and joining us every Wednesday on our YouTube channel. And if you don't have a place to worship, we would love to have you come to any one of our glad tiding locations in Central Texas. Dina puts a little link at the bottom. And um, our Facebook page is growing. I want to thank everybody out there, all of our fans. Join us on Thursday for trivia questions. Today, this week's trivia was a really fun one. What was the only food product that wasn't served at the first Thanksgiving meal with the column? It was a turkey. They ate swan, seal, and lobster, and the Native Americans brought some venison. My son-in-law Justin said, green bean casserole, because I'm not making green bean casserole this Thanksgiving. I'm making green bean almondine. We love you. We can't wait to meet you in person someday, and you have a lovely, lovely week. Bye-bye.